CBS News TM. Please sign up for the pledge. Ready? Begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our staff member of the week is our fabulous second grade teacher, Miss Waters. Miss Waters shares her love of learning and giraffes with her students every day. She is kind and patient and her every student benefits from her strong organization and dedication. Miss Waters continues to work with students after school to ensure every child has the necessary support to succeed. We are so fortunate to have Miss Waters with us at Mary Sukumala Elementary. The leader and me have it for the rest of the school year is Sharpen the Saw. Sharpen the Saw means to take care of your body by eating right, exercising, and getting enough sleep. Balance your time between school, church, family, friends, and extracurricular activities. Always be learning how to become a better person. Balance is best. A local school celebrating their 30th anniversary with food, games, and more. Yes, Miss Lori Wallace is live at Mary Sukumoto High, uh, Elementary School with a preview of this very special assembly. Wait, is Katy Perry's shark there too? <laughs> I mean, their mascot is here. Coach. <laughs> Elementary. They actually just wrapped up a really big assembly to celebrate. Some of the kids have stuck around for us. Say good morning. Hi, friends. Hi. Those are the second graders out here. So we have Mariel Sukamoto, so the namesake of the school, her mom, and then we have Principal Jennifer Met to talk a little bit about this exciting day. 30 years, and you had a time capsule, lots of fun stories to share. Talk about why this day is so important. Oh my goodness, this day is representative of all that we stand for. And our namesake, Mariel's mother, Mary Sukamoto, and all she represented, our school over the last 30 years has, has done such an amazing job of having students and teachers come through, and it's the people that make it a great spot. And, and Mary is, is so well known, Mariel is so well known here in the yes. community for so many different reasons. And of course, the school, when you hear Mary Sukamoto, you do think of this one right here, but I walked up and I have to tell you, because she's such an incredible lady, I go, oh my gosh, she's in the front row at Cal Fit, every class I've ever gone to. Uh, she is just a rock star. So, so I right away was like, oh my goodness, um, I'm so happy you're here, but you have so many amazing stories to share, and you shared a lot of those stories with the kids here today. Yes, I did. I shared what was important in the culture, the <coughs> Japanese culture that my mother shared, that are lessons for life. And, uh, you know, symbols are important. If you see a Mercedes car symbol, you know exactly what it is. If you see a logo for, you know, the 49ers. And so symbols become important. And in Japanese culture, there are some important symbols. And I want to share some of those with you right now. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Oh, they're right over here. Okay. She actually has them all set right off to the side here. Okay, so this is what oh. she shared with the kids okay. during the assembly, and she's going to help me. Okay. Okay. All right. <coughs> um, you're to be like the pine, and the pine, see, the, the trunk of the pine shows the hardship. Pines will grow high in the Sierras between rocks, and the snow and the sun will beat down on it, but it survives. Mm. And so you are to be like the pine. Oh, I survive. love that. Even the hardships of life, and notice the, the, the pine needles are green, so you never give up hope. That's and then what do we have right here? We have a couple more. I don't know if we're going to have time to get through all of yeah. them. Okay, let's see. Well, you know, when you have a, a, a plum tree, it looks like it's dead but it will revive in the spring. And so you are to be like the plum, plum tree 
And even though the winter is harsh, there will always be a spring. And many cultures say that, you know, even if life is hard, there will be a spring. Beautiful lessons. Okay, we have to wrap it up, but real quick, this was the time capsule. There were just a few, a few little things in here. And one of the cutest in here, I'm gonna pull this out. This was one of their first little shirts from back in the day. So 30 years here at Mary Sukamoto Elementary School. The kids out here celebrating a really fun time and a fun way to wrap up the school year. We'll catch you on the other side of the break. The weather this week is mostly sunny. The high temperatures will be in the 80s and 90s and over 100 degrees on Friday. The lows will be in the 50s. Three more weeks of school. Have a magnificent Monday.